good morning students uh, today i will take your uh, second value education class uh, we had uh, meet once uh, we had our class a week before so today we will continue with our textbook so in your textbook you will find such inter interesting stories and it it's having picture also it's in drama form i hope you all will like so through these short stories you all are having uh, some stories here in your textbook and through these stories we will come to know uh, some of our bad habits that we uh, automatically somehow though we do not know that it's bad habit but sometime we form it yes we uh, means such habits somehow it take place within us so let us find out whether we are somehow um, uh, whether do we face with such things or not and we need to come out of it and we need to just leave that uh, bad habit and we should form good habits right so let us start for uh, with the first st short story before that i want all of you to keep your books ready so that you can go through line to line explanation on a peaceful afternoon in thrissur thrissur is a place in uh, kerala okay it's a south indian city situated in kerala so so the incident takes place here acha cha i am home i had such a lovely day at school acha cha means grandfather a small girl returns uh, from her school and she informs uh, that she has come back and she had a great day at school i hope you all can somehow uh, link with your return from the school now maybe you all it's obvious that you all miss your uh, lovely school days which we are going to have very soon right that that's great did you show your teacher the essay you wrote it's a general query of the grandfather whether the girl has shown the essay or not you can again you can link it right yes uh, she said it was good that's why the girl she was quite happy now grandfather says that's wonderful now uh, the girl remembers something now what does she remember that is you know daisy a cha cha teacher uh, scolded her because she hadn't completed the homework after recollecting that the girl informs grandfather that one of the girls her name that is daisy daisy did not submit her homework exercise book and she got uh, scolding from the teacher as well fatima said that anu said that daisy does not get time to do the homework now you can understand how the matter comes the matter is related to daisy but another girl named fatima she said something to anu and anu said to this particular girl that daisy doesn't get proper time to do her homework daisy's mother doesn't do any work in the house poor daisy has to do all the work after school now you can understand here something that it's a, it calls gossip yes now you all can understand here in our school also maybe it's uh, or somewhere maybe that sometime we come across such thing that the thing or the incident that is uh, the, belongs to the person we do not ask that person or we do not directly hear from that person but by from some other person we get the information which may be false which may be vague and we try to think that or rather it is presented in such a way that we uh, start to think that the incident is absolutely real and we do not even think that the person may misguide us or mislead us and sometimes we need to go to that person to ask whether it's true or not or we should not pay attention at all so we don't do that but we love to have those things we love to have some uh, gossiping from uh, other person about other person right same thing happens with this girl she heard that the girl about whom the Uh, matter is said for that is daisy that daisy doesn't get proper time as her mother doesn't do any household work and she has to do everything that's why she doesn't get 
enough or sufficient time to continue with her study. Now let's see what happens. Now grandfather says, now, now do you know if that, I mean actually so? Now grandfather asks whether the girl really knows that the incident is true or not. Whether the girl has the uh, means proper information or not. The girl said no, but Anu. So the girl, the same thing happens many times with us also, right? The girl says no, but Anu. She has not, she is not sure about the news. But she is somehow, she has uh, complete faith on Anu. That Anu said means it's true. It may not be true, but the girl is having complete rely upon that particular person. Now, the girl's name, here we get, that is Sharanya. Sharanya saw her grandfather's expression and stopped. Now the girl understood, maybe she is wrong. She noticed her grandfather's expression and she stopped. She didn't complete the sentence. Now, grandfather says, it is unkind to pass along rumors about someone. Rumors means some false allegations, some false uh, sayings, yes. So, it's unkind. It's not, means it's not, a, uh, it's not a kind act. It's not good at all. Don't you think, don't you think that uh, to spread rumors about someone is something that we shouldn't do? Don't you think that? How would Daisy feel? If she heard this, yes, we should now, here again we need to learn something. Before we pass on something to someone else about someone, we need to rethink about the person about whom we are talking, right? So what will she feel or he feel if I were in that person's position? Who, means how would have I felt? So the person is also human being. A living creature so the same thing may happen to that person as well right and even if Daisy did uh, confide in Anu Anu certainly should not be gossiping about it here again we get something grandfather says that such things may not be true even if we consider it to be true then we as maybe if Daisy has shared her uh, means uh, her personal things with someone that is Anu and Anu should have kept it confidential she should have not spread it out she should have not make it gossip right so here also we can understand that if someone shares something with us that means the person has complete rely upon us so we need to respect that faith we need to respect the relation rather right and we should not share it with all and to have make fun out of it right now something shared in confidence between close friends uh, needs to stay that way the same thing as I told so we need to respect if someone shares something very personal very confidential with us I did think about that you are right, Achacha. You have told rightly. Grandfather, I have also thought that. And now the girl somehow feels that she has not done the thing rightly. Right? Now, next, let us continue. Uh, then the girl says, what were you reading when I came in, Achacha? Now, grandfather was reading something and the girl asked about it. And she found it. 1968 that's a strange name for a book then grandfather says that's not a book that's that's one of my diaries the one i wrote in the year 1968 now it's someone's personal diary so here also again we get a lesson now sharanna absent-mindedly opened the diary october 27 and she started reading reading the diary now she got the information that Achacha had been uh, writing a diary since his teenage years. So it's 1968 means uh, grandfather was in between 13 to 19 years. And from that particular time he has started writing this. 
Now the grandfather again warns the girl, not so fast young lady, that's personal. Now see, without asking his permission, Sharanya has started, has not only, uh, she has not only taken the diary from him, but also she has opened the first page and she has even started reading. Now grandfather knocks and says, you should not uh, do the work so fast. It's after all a personal diary. Now again we get a lesson that without anyone's uh, confirmation, if the person says or gives you permission, uh, we should not touch anyone's personal thing. So, so far we have read, we got two lessons. The first one, if someone shares something very personal with us, we need to respect that person's faith and we need not to share it with all. Yes. Before that, if we, again another lesson we get from so far we have read that is before we say anything about a person, we need to be very sure about that. Otherwise, it will turn into rumors and that is not good for anyone's uh, mental condition. If someone spreads something uh, about us and which is completely fake or which is not uh, true at all, how uh, will we feel? So we should keep certain emotion within us about others emotion, right? And third one we get that is we need not to uh, touch anyone's thing whether it's personal or not. We should not touch anyone's thing, uh, anyone's uh, things without that person's consent or without that person's permission. So I hope next time when you all will uh, meet a new person or whoever is your in your family also here we can find out that Sharanya and grandfather the incident takes place between Sharanya and grandfather so grandfather is her family member still she should take permission from him before she opens her diary uh, opens her diary so here we get so whatever is the uh, discipline that sh uh, that should start from our family also okay it will start from our with uh, start with our family members and it will end to uh, the person whom we meet outside our home so so far we have read we get these things i hope you all will keep it in your mind now go now what let us see what sharanya says she says sorry achacha i was just curious to know what you did that day so up to this much we end today we will definitely we have 30 minutes on our hand and we need to do some work uh, sheet also we need to practice one worksheet also that's why i will run a bit slow there is no such hurry uh, so we will be we need to learn and we need to understand so you need to remember three lessons we got so far we have read i hope you all have understood the text and you need to do the worksheet that completely depends on your uh, point of view. So do that carefully. Take very good care of yourself. Uh, try to stay safe and fit. Thank you. Have a good day.